What's up, guys? Welcome back to the next episode of Night's Dawn, Part 3. Lycanthrope, this game really enc encourages exploration. It's so much fun. I haven't played many games that balance reward for effort. That's true. The balance between uh, reward and effort is uh, very paramount in this uh, this game. And uh, you're right, I do appreciate that as well. I've done a good job with that. Hello, wolves. Goodbye, wolves. Skeletons seem a little, uh, a little confused. Ah, ability point. Wonderful. What does that, uh, put me at now? Ten? <laughs> uh, I could probably afford to get that upgrade to, uh, to that thing by now, but, uh, what do we have here? Uh, can't get revive yet. We can get fire circle. I should get some more destruction spells. Uh, I think I'm gonna still hold out for uh, revive though. I keep saying that. One of these days I'm actually gonna commit to it. But uh, anyway, let's continue. Out of my way, boxes. I'm busy. two places we can't get to. Interesting. Maybe there's a uh, path I missed or a door I didn't open or something. Hmm. Or I'm not supposed to be here yet. There it is. <clears throat> Never hurts to take another peek around, right? Probably go north first. Seems like the uh, shortest route to a dead end. I wonder what's casting that blue spell. That much closer to getting that revive. Oh, and a uh, wisdom point. Cool. And that brings us all the way up to 14%. Woo! Let's actually go. Now, what's the point of us coming over here? leading to that little spit of land we couldn't touch earlier. So 
Where the hell are we going? Is there a building or room or something down here that I... Aha! Uh -huh. Robe. Crossbow bolts, more stuff to sell, and a gold longbow. Okay, not really wowing me there, but uh, that's fine. Okay, so we've got to go back. Got to go back where we came from. You know, I'm surprised the treasure chests don't count towards the percentage of a dungeon. They restock or anything. Alright, so we gotta go straight south. Yeah. Straight south and then hook right. And then I think that'll take us to another place we haven't been. Whatever. Just keep going until we kill everything. How about that? That minecart, so never mind. Can't go that way. Yes. Come on, give me a switch. There we go. Let's do this! Spellweave cap. Okay. We'll have to use all those scrolls later on. So we've just got this way to go. Too bad I can't do anything with these like little desks. Not even a potion or anything in them. Okay, we found another ladder. here. Oh, okay. So, shortcut, I suppose. And ability coin. Good. Oh, it looks like a, uh, something for the, uh, the pets. Creature food for endurance. Okay. Ceremonial kite shield. And another wand. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Unfortunately, I don't think that is better than our current wands. But, uh... We will still give that to, uh, Zans. be worth it to give him as a secondary, though. Alright, so that brings our attack up to 376 in terms of magic. Not too bad, I guess. We might still be doing more damage with our, uh, our sword, though. Still not sure if that's working properly. Because, uh, I feel like the damage of your sword gets added onto your spell casting, so you get the ranged damage, or you get the ranged attack, but with the close range damage, which is not great. 
Well, I mean, it's great, but I don't. I just don't think it's working as intended. Um, well, what do I know? Oh my god. Ah. Okay, sorry about that. All right, got some experience, it's fine. Oh, got some intelligence, nice. Gold chain leggings, I should probably give all these things to uh, Zan, seeing as he's the only one that can really benefit from them. Now, I don't know which creatures I'm gonna use them on, but uh, who knows? It doesn't really matter which I pick, because either way it's going to be the wrong choice, because I could always give them to a better creature, I would imagine. It's just a matter of whether or not I hold on to them for ages or not. Okay, so, no sense in going up that way. Looks like this is leading to a separate kind of a uh, separate kind of an outside structure here. It's kind of neat. What do we have here? Oh, okay, so there's a shortcut to the outside. Nice. There's a lot of shortcuts in this game. I dig it. Okay, and this will probably go to the uh, leftmost stairwell. if there's anything along the beach, though. There's gotta be something. Got gold. Hmm. Alright. It's, it's ruined in. Cool. We made it. Neato. Well, now that I know how to get here, I mean, it's pretty good. We're going to go back to uh, Sinrock, though. But that's that's cool, though. We found our way to uh, ruined in. We'll go up here and take the uh, stairwell on, on the left over here. our levels. Yep. Right. Man, this is a big-ass dungeon. I'm sure that's the, uh, <laughs> the number one thing you hear from people when they play this dungeon. That's a big dungeon! Which, it's true. It is a big-ass dungeon. Okay, 
so that opens back up that way. We've already been this way. Yeah, we've already been this way. Oh no, Wilted Body Morph has died. Damn you. Way to go. You died. reward for. I don't know, give me the strength scrolls. And, uh, I don't know, intelligence. Sure. Okay, we do have enough. Let's get revived now before I change my mind. Let's do that. How does this work? Oh, well, we need the MP to use it first. Ha ha ha. Should have probably picked up that HP regen spell by now. But whatever. Can't do it. Come on. Let the AI do stuff. Maybe they'll use revive, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we gotta do the loop de loop from the left side. there's actually nothing in a room like that. Guess it kind of makes sense, though. This being an, an abandoned castle? I, I don't know. It's an abandoned something, though. What, little mama? Golden axe. Not bad. You're eating spaghetti. Nice. That's always a always a wonderful time when spaghetti can be had. One of my favorite foods. 
Every single time it's in a restaurant, though, it always costs so damn much. Like, spaghetti is not expensive. It's just silly. Alright, so that room opens up from... A room to the right. Ow, 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 ow. Well, those traps actually were pretty harmful. Oh, well. I'm assuming those traps were meant to kill me. And I just turned them off. Oh, well. I mean, you can make spaghetti expensive, but... I mean, you can make anything expensive, but it's hard. <laughs> it's like there's only like five things that go into spaghetti. And that's, that's if you don't want to, you know, add a whole lot. Hell, you could just literally use tomatoes and that's it. If you really wanted to. Potent Jeweler's Crystal L. Interesting. A large bandage. Wow. Lovely. Yeah, but I like spaghetti. I like making spaghetti. It's pretty fun making spaghetti. I just like cooking in general, though. Chili's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, I could see wanting chili when it's cold. I made a uh, chicken pot pie stew the other day. I've been eating that this weekend. Pretty damn tasty. It's been a little bit since I made chili. The last chili I made was actually a sweet chili. Had uh, pineapples and whatnot in it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've never made a sweet chili before, but uh, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, chicken pot pie stew. It's pretty easy. Yeah, pineapples. Lost artifact. Oh, it's a quest item. Well, that's neato. Ah, gold arming sword. Nice. What do we have here? That, <clears throat> that gold arming sword we're probably just going to give to Zans. He's the one that uses the long swords. <laughs> no, sir, you need some heat in your chili. No, I I agree. A good chili is is spicy. But, uh, yeah, this time I was just like, let's try this out, because I haven't tried it before. It was good. I enjoyed it. But it's not my go-to. Normally I like a lot of white pepper and, you know, all that in my chili. But uh, this time I was just like, yeah, let's do this. Let's try it out. Gold ring, nice. <laughs> Was I high? No, I just saw a, uh, a recipe and I wanted to try and make it. You never just seen a recipe and thought, I want to try making that. That's, uh, that's how it was in that particular instance. Oh yeah, I wanted to see about saving up some MP and trying to revive something. And then you think to yourself, better not. Well, that's on you. I like to take risks and try new things, I suppose. Hmm. Who would I want to give extra endurance to? I don't know. Intelligence I'd probably want to give to one of my uh, spellcasting creatures. But yeah, I don't really know how all those stats work. <sighs> I actually don't eat pineapple on my pizza, but I mean, I can. I don't really, I don't really think it's that big of a deal if you eat pineapple on your pizza. 
I know a lot of people uh, freak out about it, but uh, you know what? If, if, if it's food and you can eat it and you're good with that, then by all means, go for it. Just stop. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not going to gatekeep food. If you enjoy food, eat the food. Okay, no target found. What do we have here? Take that. Uh, so everybody's alive in my party? Yeah, all 11 out of 10 are alive. Nobody's in my storage. Nobody in my storage is dead, so that's fine. Okay, let's continue. So the AI won't heal or won't revive things. You have to actually do it. At least that's what it looks like for now. 11 out of 10. Math? Yes. Uh, right now the game is glitched, so you can just keep adding things to your party. I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know if I could have like 20 creatures in my party. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, it's... Uh, it's a little silly right now. I'm sure it'll get fixed here eventually. But yeah, as it, as it is right now, the game uh, the game says that you can equip a bunch of things into your party. I haven't tried adding everyone yet. We could try. Uh, see what happens. I don't know, maybe maybe we'll lose some of these pets permanently if we try to add too many. Alright, 20 out of 10 pets. <laughs> I don't know if they're all actually here or not, but, uh, yeah. I'd like to cast regen on all of them. Come on, game. Sure. <laughs> there you go. 20 out of 10. Math. Skellington boys. Wow. This would have been a perfect place for something to be, but I guess not. I'm assuming we're going to have to go south before we can go north. Because, yeah, it's blocked. Okay. We're starting to starting to figure things out. Spirit and a relentless, relentless skeleton, or something like that. Huh. Guess they, guess they can just keep summoning stuff there. Yeah, why not? It's kind of funny. Go get them, stuffs. <laughs> Yeah, Gaylord is still alive. Heck yeah, he is. He's not leaving the party. He's too important. This is kind of funny. All they're doing is every once in a while summoning... Uh, summoning some magic they can reach to the other side of the wall. Interesting. Killing them every once in a while. 
Wounded Spirit isn't really taking much damage, to be completely honest. Interesting. Alright, well, enough of that. Nobody died. How about that? Got a gold chain vest from that skeleton. That's 82% of Senrock, baby! Alright, what do we got here? Mm hmm. Dark defense. If you say so. Movement speed. Don't know if I'm going to find anything much better than what I'm already wearing. Probably not. Wearing all the gold stuff for Balsa, so... Yeah, probably not. Yep, everybody's still alive, I think. <laughs> Can't really tell. I can only see half my, uh, half my party. They all look like they're there. stuff that we get for Zans. Uh, that gold broadaxe isn't as much damage, unfortunately. Okay, so there's 88%. What the heck am I missing? Did we go north? Scarlet Dragoon, you beat the game for the first time? Hell yeah! Way to go. I must have gone north. On this little section over here. Must have. Yeah, congratulations. How long did it take you to uh, to beat it? Oh, I guess I didn't go this way. No idea, a couple of weeks. Nice. Well, how many hours does it say is in your save? <clears throat> I mean, heck, I've had the game since since day one, and I haven't beat it. I'm only only just now finishing up with Sinrock. So, don't feel bad about taking a while to beat it. Hmm, shield. Another shield I'm not going to use. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, well, cool. 114 hours? Very nice. <coughs> Very nice. Alright, well, I mean, we're almost done with Sinrock. I have no idea where the rest of the stuff is, but, uh, hey, that's gonna do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. If you're watching on the stream, stick around. I'm gonna keep playing, but 